Well, welcome back to the vlog, guys. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. So today I'm due a delivery of fish for the freshwater aquarium. You can see behind me, which is actually looking a little bit dusty, dust algae. Let me just sort that out quick. Okay, there we go. Sorry, sorry, guys. So unprofessional. I was gonna edit that bit out, but I think I'll just keep it in. It's real. We get dust algae. Anyway, I've switched on the auxiliary pump I've got in there now, which is hidden behind that middle section, just to get some water movement going and clearing up all that debris I've just you know, cast up into the water column. Be clear in a minute. Anyway, today I'm expecting new fish to arrive for this tank. They should be coming anytime soon, so hopefully I don't have to wait long. Boys, 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 that's the doorbell. We've got more fish, even more fish. <laughs> oh, this literally feels like the same video again, but I suppose. More puzzles. Yeah, another puzzle, but it's not angel fish this time. What? It should be rams. Rams? Yeah, let's get it in, let's get it in. Okay, we've got the fish, we've got them in here, but obviously I'm going to need my trusty camera person, my wife Kate. She definitely does not want to be filmed on this video. I don't look good today. I don't know, I think she looks good every day. I'm sure you guys agree, but you know what women are like. Sometimes they have bad days, sometimes they have good days. Looks the same to me every day, I don't know. Anyway, let's get started. So loads of you have now seen the video where we added the fish to the angelfish aquarium behind me. Now Sims Tropical Fish helped me out. They sent me some fish for that and they loved the video so much they've sent me some more that we've got here. Now that's brilliant. Thanks very much. Full disclosure, I haven't paid for these fish. They did send them to me free of charge because they liked what I did so much. So that's good. But all the fish, apart from one, the false ultim, are doing absolutely fantastic. After a few days, I, I didn't see the false ultim again. I guess he's gone around the back. Now these Buenos Aires Tetras, they're vicious little things. They're like mini piranhas. So I'm pretty sure they would have disposed of anything that happened. But you know, these things happen sometimes. Everything else though, doing absolutely great. The guys are over in the corner because I've just come and sat right near them. But anyway, right, let's get on with opening in these Fish. So you all loved Kate's camera filming skills before, so she's right now behind the camera. Say hello, Kate. Hi. Oh, that was a bit better than last time. Right. Anyway, let's just get on with this unboxing. Lid off. <laughs> that was really unnecessary. Okay, so it was at this moment that the sound just went completely wrong on the microphone. But as you can see here, this is a whiptail catfish. They are going to look awesome, and I've never seen them before. Now, second out the box, rams. This is what we've been waiting for for ages for this tank. I've got two German blues, hopefully a pair, and I've got four electric blues. Again, hopefully two pairs there as well. So six total, which is awesome. And then the final one is an autumn because, well, false autumn. I think it's a false autumn. Oh no, not this again. Anyway, this one is obviously to replace the one that we've lost. Right guys, so I've taken the fish out. They temperature acclimated, but I also removed some water and put the fish down in this little mini tank temporarily. Now, the reason I've done that is because many of you know I'm looking for a place to now put the, the Ranchu crew. Let's go over and have a look at them. Here they are, look, guys. Now, they're about on the... Sorry about the reflections. I should turn all this off, shouldn't I, Hound? Off. Off. Okay. That's better? Yeah, that's better. Right, so they're just about... I mean, if it was just the Ranchus, it'd be fine. But because the Aranda's getting massive, I think it's time to upgrade the tank. And I'm thinking that they can go in the reef aquarium. But ow, always tripping over, aren't I? So yeah, they can go in the reef aquarium. But loads of you are like, no, don't put them in that one because it's like, you know, it's not designed for them. And you're right. But uh, let me tell you, hear me out. This is what I think we should do. And I think it'll work well. I think this scape looks great. But this can be literally lifted up and plonked into the cube. One of the comments from the previous video is what gave me that idea, so thank you very much to whoever that was. But yeah, given the size of this scape, I'm thinking if I sort of cut off this section and keep it as that sort of block, but sort of elongate the base a little bit, that's going to look really good, because that other tank is pretty much there, look. So I think that'll look really good. Plus, you know, we haven't got exactly loads and loads of fish. We'll go with the rams, but they can stay in there for a time being. That water is the same as that water. Um, the temperature's pretty much the same. It might drop a little, but it is next to the radiator, and I've been checking the heat regularly and it's sitting at like 25 at the moment so that's good because this was 25 as well so all good right so i suppose i better drain the tank didn't i and get on with it right that's all of the water what, what am i telling you you can see the water's out anyway the java fern here is attached with glue and also so is the moss so we need to work relatively quickly but i'll make sure i keep spraying it down all the plants are actually taken out that can be taken out really looking really good as well guys really nice roots on them as well i just got a bit of wet paper towel on the top there and on the java ferns and 
some other little bits and bobs under there. So now I'm going to take the rocks out and try and put them in some sort of fashion like this over there. Obviously it's not going to be exactly the same but I definitely want to get this big piece standing up like it is because I think that works really well. Let's get on with it. Right, well that went much smoother than expected. But it's chaos in here at the moment. Like down here, look, we've got the rocks, I'm trying to keep them moist still. We've got the plants up here. We've even got the paper towel on the floor where it belongs. Uh, we've got some more plants in buckets. We've got all of the uh, substrate in there, or sand anyway. We've got some plants down there. There's stuff everywhere, but that's all right. It all went smoothly. Let's get it in the tank. Okay, so I'm sort of liking that so far. I think you're looking quite, quite, you know, impactful. We've got this big sort of background piece, the showpiece, if you like. That back corner there will be fully planted with all of the stem plants that are now looking absolutely lush and brilliant as well. So that area will be filled in. Then we're going to have negative space surrounding it and little pockets of plants all in amongst it. I might build up this foreground area a little bit more and just have a few more in that foreground. I mean, that's getting away from the reef look then. So no, I won't do that. <laughs> so tempting and so hard not to though. Right, so I'm going to just get some sand in now. Maybe I can have a shuffle around and move it about a bit. But so far, I quite like that. It does look a bit odd with the strata going like that and then some like that. But all the plants are going to fill in these gaps anyway, so it should just look like one big green thing. Because <laughs> remember, we've got all that hydroculture Japan for all the gaps as well, so you won't even see much of the rock. It's amazing how much the scape gets transformed as soon as you put some good sand in. Like, I think the coloration of this sand really suits the rock. It, it kind of looks like it could be from that rock, you know what I mean? Sort of eroded down over time. Anyway. <laughs> what <laughs> anyway i'm going to fill it up with water now many of you will probably know and if you don't well i like to fill up the tank to about three quarters full to plant my plants put my plants in <laughs> so the back section over here oh, over here i've actually created it a lot deeper to be honest it's about an inch and a half thick that means i could put my stem plants into it and i can do this when the water's in there and it just means that they already stand upright they look better from from straight away and it just look better from straight away wow they look better straight away and you can just see how it's all falling get any gaps get filled it's just going to look miles better we've also got the hydrocotyl japan to go in all these gaps as well this is just going to look really good i'm really happy with this decision because this is a good sized tank for the amount of fish we've got as well i don't know why i'm frowning Right, so that's everything as full as I need it to be at the moment. We can top it up in the end and don't worry about all that surfacey, scummy stuff. That'll all be taken off as well once we get the filtration in. And speaking of the filtration, over here, we've got the Oazo Biomaster 250. Yeah, where is it? The 300. I think it's the 350. The Biomaster 350, whatever. You know, it's all the same. It's just different sizes. But yeah, I've already taken off the plumbing for it. So I just need to transfer over the pipe work. And then this one's already full of good water as well. And, all, you know, there'll be beneficial bacteria in there. Although there wasn't actual fish in the tank, there was a load of snails that all produce waste. So that's all going to be all positive and good. Whee! The filter's up and running. That's good. I mean, I wouldn't expect it not to be, but, you know. Right, let's get this bad boy cleared so we can get some nice plants in there. Right, so the tank has cleared as much as it needs to. I mean, it looks a bit misty, but that's because it's so heavily oxygenated at the moment. There's just bubbles everywhere. But, you know, we'll be able to see what we're doing anyway. Let's get those awesome plants in. Woohoo guys, yes, that is all planted. So you can see here, I've gone for all the different stuff that I had before. I've got all of the stem plants at the back, the Rotala Rotunda Folia, all the Java Fern linking the whole thing. Sorry about the misting, I've literally just done it. I probably stirred up a load of that. What I'll do is I'll hold the camera still now whilst I'm talking and I'm gonna overlay 
now all of the plant types so that you guys know what they all are but i actually think that that looks better now than when i had it before and i'm not just saying that weirdly enough i thought this front foreground area was too straight if you know what i mean i was going to add us more rocking but now i see it there i really like the way it's framing the whole sort of island anyway the temperature is currently sitting at if it will focus there we go 26 degrees which is a really good temperature for the ram so that's absolutely perfect i say i just get them in i've also got a load of beneficial bacteria to put in at the same time so that will be going in everything will be perfect oh straight away actually already looking stunning i didn't see where the catfish went though did anyone oh there's one looking great look at that look at that german that's a german blue right there nice male i think it is and then we've got obviously the uh we've got the females as well we tried to go for the pairs they're nicely grouping in there at the moment which is really cool you know what i'm gonna come away and leave them alone for a while we can come back in a bit when everything's clear and they're settled right guys it's the next day the lights haven't been on too long it's actually like 5 a.m at the moment <laughs> i do I, I woke up and i thought i want to go and check on the fish so the lights are on for a little bit extra today I'll probably turn them off earlier at night to compensate but yeah look look everything's sort of cleared there's a slight green tinge to the water that's because i added some like acclimation fluid stuff i don't really know what it is but apparently you put it in a new fish so it's all good and i've also added the bacteria as well and you can see down here i've got the false ultim as well in there the idea behind that is that it's had a week's worth of quarantine and then it was sent to me specially so i'm going to keep it in with these fish it's like a whole sort of quarantine system and if i can see everything's okay which you know it looks spot on at the moment i'll be moving the the angel there across to the angelfish tank in another video so we've got that to look forward to what a stunning fish it is as well look oh, i'm going to scare it now with this light it's all looking really good hopefully the fish are going to come out they've just sort of most of them are just hidden to the back except for this one you can see right in the corner this german the German blue in the corner there, that looks really nice. So yeah, I might have to give them a few more minutes before they colour up, but everything went really well. I'm really happy with how the scapes turned out as well. I'm kind of so glad I did that now. So just in case you weren't completely clear, the reason I swapped the reef tank over from the big system over there to this one is because that tank is much bigger, obviously, and I want the Iran Chu crew to go over in the big tank. That will be more than big enough for them then, and then I won't have to upgrade. But that said, I'm really happy with how this one's turned out. We've got the six rams in here, and we've got the two whiptail catfish. I'll get close-ups of all these guys, but I think this has worked out really, really good, and I'm massively happy with the result. At some point it'll be brilliant to add in some shoaling fish and I'm sure that's going to be coming soon as well so you need to stick around for that and hit the like and hit the subscribe. <laughs> 